November Alpha One Sierra Sierra. This is Kilo Kilo Seven November Papa India. Well, let's go. Local students successfully made contact with astronauts and the International Space Station. Fox Hills Bonnie Silkman joins us now with more on this out of this world experience. I love the look on their faces when they made that contact, Bonnie. Right, let's go. Let's do this. You can see how psyched they are because they did it. They made contact with astronauts up in space. Students from an amateur radio club at Camus High made this happen. They spoke with astronauts in the International Space Station after three tries. Third time was the charm. So it took a lot of work, including programming and antenna, to track the ISS. So on their end, they had a lot of work to do. And after a few attempts, like we said, the students made contact and they were able to speak with Dr. Michael Barrett, a Camus High School alum up there in space right now. We've also talked to him in the past. So all of this happened while the space station was visible over the horizon for 10 minutes. And the students made use of every one of those minutes. They really made them count with some rapid fire questions. What is your most special experience in space? I think my most special experience was uh, doing spacewalks. I did that on my uh, first mission and I'm about to do that in about a week again. Well, so I'm really looking forward to putting on that suit and going outside. Yeah. Over. Is what's the most useful thing you've taken away from high school? Wow. Uh, well, I was inspired by a lot of amazing teachers. You guys may know Dale Croswell, but Jerry McGraw, uh, Dean Gray, Cecil Fleischman, these guys at Zuppie, how to read, how to write, uh, and uh, how to speak other languages. That, those are skills that have stayed with me ever since, and I remember those guys implicitly. Uh, over. What is the funniest moment in space? The funniest moment to me happens when yeah, I've been up here for a while and I see new people arrive and try to get used to zero gravity and fly around and bump into things and get totally disoriented all the time. Over. That'd be tough. Yeah, it's like rookie. Look at him floating around. He doesn't know what he's doing up here. <laughs> so before they wrapped everything up, the students also asked Barrett if he had any questions for them. My question for you would be, do you realize what an amazing place you live in, wow. the Pacific Northwest, Southwest Washington, and being able to go to Canvas? To answer that question, it is a fantastic place in Canvas. We get the pleasure of talking to an astronaut that came from Canvas. And, it and is the teachers are awesome. So, yeah. so, so is the principal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So cool to see. So, of course, yeah. uh, Dr. Barrett realized that some of those teachers and the principal were in the room with them. He says he wasn't sure uh, that was, uh, he's sure that was a true statement anyway. But so cool to see all the <laughs> teachers creeping up with their phones, yeah. kind of watching all the action happen. And I feel like I would have questions, too. Like, what are you guys eating for dinner tonight yeah. up there? Yeah. Like, what's the plan? He said he was about to go on a spacewalk. So, oh God. I love really to cool. see the students' enthusiasm for what they're doing, right? Who I mean, gets to say the moment they've done they'll that? never yeah. forget this moment? Mm -hmm. Can you, who can say that they talk to exactly. astronauts? Exactly. Yeah. Not me. Pretty cool. Pretty so neat. cool. Thank you, Bonnie. Yeah.